Hey, what's going on, AP World? We have A Push Review Containment, the Truman Doctrine, and the Marshall Plan for you today. Some of the biggest ideas to understand from the Cold War era. This really helps set the stage for the Cold War and the relationships between the United States, Europe, and the Soviet Union. So let's get started. To understand these concepts, we have, we have to be able to identify George Kennan and his philosophy of containment. So who was he? Well, he was a foreign ambassador to the Soviet Union. He was an expert on Soviet Union history, and he was appointed to serve as an ambassador to the Soviet Union. And here he is here. On a side note, he actually lived to be 101 years old. He died in 2005, so he lived a very, very long life. He was the author of something called The Long Telegram. And what is he known for? Well, he's essentially the father of containment. And the goal of containment is to keep communism from spreading. And in the long telegram, he talked about how the Russians wanted to expand. And it should be the goal of the United States to keep their influence from expanding. So when I teach containment, I usually have a bottle of water in my class. And I, I fill it up with water, plastic bottle. I fill it up with water and I label it communism. Now, if there's no cap on this bottle of water and I were to turn it upside down, all that water or communism in it would spread all over the classroom. So I want you to think of the cap as containment. So the purpose of the bottle of water is to keep the water or communism from spreading. So George Kennan proposed that the United States follow a policy of containment to keep communism where it is and to keep it from spreading. So what is the impact of George Kennan and his ideas? Well, he helped end the U.S. policy of isolation. Traditionally, the foreign policy of the United States has been isolation, staying out of foreign affairs. We saw that that isn't necessarily true prior to World War II, but for the most part, the U.S. followed that policy. That is over from this moment forward in U.S. history. So let's go ahead to the Truman Doctrine. Well, the Truman Doctrine gets its roots based in Greece and Turkey. After World War II, Britain was providing aid to Greece and Turkey in the form of, of money, mostly. They were not able to do it any longer. So the U.S. feared that the Soviets would take control of Greece or Turkey, or at least gain influence. So, so the Truman Doctrine is really a way to prevent the Soviet Union from gaining influence. So Truman goes to Congress. He requested and received $400 million for military and economic aid, to aid Greece and Turkey. So it's basically giving them money to resist communism. And he said, I believe that it must be the policy of the, of the U.S. to support free peoples who are resisting a, attempted subjugation by armed minorities or by outside pressures. So those outside pressures are, is going to be the Soviet Union. So what's the impact of the Truman Doctrine? It Again, with the idea of containment, America is further ripped from isolation. They were becoming increasingly involved in world affairs, particularly in Europe. So this is where the United States directly gets involved in aiding other countries, in this case, Greece and Turkey. And we will see different presidents have their own doctrines as they relate to communism as well. Just a quick note, a quick, remember, a quick trick to remember, every doctrine except the Monroe Doctrine will deal with, with stopping the spread of communism. All right, let's go to the Marshall Plan. So this is George Marshall. Who was he? He was Secretary of State under Truman during his first term. And it was the policy that the United States would spend billions of dollars over the next several years to improve the economic recovery in Europe. So this is, again, post-World War II in the 40s. And the U.S. is spending billions of dollars to improve the economy of Europe. Here are some Marshall Plan posters that are very well known. And you can see that there are many... Um, flags of countries of Europe, but this is particularly aimed at Western Europe because Eastern Europe, the Soviet Union does not allow those countries to get receive aid from the United States. So why was this policy pursued? Again, it all goes back to containment, to keep the Soviet Union from spreading its influence and to keep communism from spreading into Europe, in this case, Western Europe. And the key idea to think here, if you think back to after World War One. With the economic crises of World War One, there were so many problems that people began to turn to different forms of government. That's why you see fascism rise. That's why you see communism rise. Because the economies of these countries were struggling and people were looking for a new form of government to help them. So the thinking is, if the United States were to improve these economies of European countries, communism would be less appealing. 
Okay, let's do a quick recap. The goal of containment, and, and please, at all costs, to, under, to truly understand the Cold War, you have to understand containment, was to keep communism from spreading. Two examples of containment are the Truman Doctrine and Marshall Plan, and they both deal with Europe. However, the Truman Doctrine was aimed at Turkey and Greece, be able to identify those two countries. Also be able to identify George Kennan, his name does appear on the AP exam. And containment helped end U.S. isolation, and the U.S. became increasingly involved in world affairs, and particularly European affairs at this time. All right, that's it for Containment, the Truman Doctrine, and Marshall Plan. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button below. And also take about 15 seconds for me and share this video on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, any social media outlet. If you could take a second and just post it up there, I would greatly appreciate it. I want to reach as many people as possible. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good day, guys.